Okay, I saw, I wanted to do a really quick big video tour of the guinea pig cage. So let me swap this and show you. Okay, so here it is. Um, the clear tarp here, or the clear one here is from Omelet, and the green one in the back is from Omelet. They're a little bit better quality, I think, than um, some of the tarps you can buy. I mean, some tarps are fine. You just have to get a heavy-duty one, but um, I do have a regular tarp over this just because it's still sunny, but my hope was that I'll just be able to peel the um, blue tarp back once the weather gets a little bit um, a little bit colder. So here it is. I've got some um, cinder blocks on the outside. I'm going to continue to line them once the um, plants start dying off around this because this is my garden. It's got plenty of cover so I'm not worried about um, critters coming in. I um, have an electric fence, then I have a no-climb fence, and then they also have this structure as well. So they have plenty of protection but um, I do want to put cinder blocks all around the outside and fill them with dirt to plant things in for next year. It'll also provide a little bit of windbreak. Um, yeah. Uh, my goal is to eventually have plants growing up this every summer. So that way in the hottest parts of the year, it's got its own little microclimate. Um, the idea is to plant something that's safe or at least out of the reach. Pumpkins, that sort of thing. They like a lot of the herbs, but we had some planted in here originally and they... <laughs> They ate it. Okay, so this is the setup now. I added these um, two planters. There's nothing in them right now. Um, and that water is empty because we replaced it with the five gallon poultry drinker. So this holds five gallons of water. It keeps it fairly cold. And what I like is I can just rinse it like this, clean it out, and there's still plenty of water um, in there. Um, I just like that it's colder too. And it doesn't leak like a lot of the waters that we've used that are the little um, ones they lick. And um, I just find it a lot easier. We have a five gallon feeder here that we put our feed in. Um, try not to put too much in there because, yeah, because they can't eat that much really that fast. But, um, you know, we just tip out the, anything that's a little bit dirty. And we do have um, a pot bottom over the top because it doesn't come with a top and you don't want moisture getting in there. Then we have our little guinea pig village. We've got our um, hay feeder, which I kind of overstuff so I can fit more in and I added some hay along the bottom of the run so they can dig around in it and eat in it. You can see, hi friend. I took these omelet, um, these omelet, um, huts and decorated them and I made them, put names on them and like made them little stores. So... Yeah, so that's what we've got. It works pretty well. Again, like we grew pumpkins up this for a little, but we had um, some issues with <sighs> with um, squash bugs. So yeah, next year we'll do a little bit better. And uh, just so you can see, the one thing I really like about this cage above other ones is that it has a lock that you can actually lock and unlock from the inside. That way, if you happen to get stuck, you're not gonna get stuck in there. And also, you know, the kids can lock themselves in so they don't let anyone out on accident. And you can keep one open while you're in here or if you're doing chores and throwing stuff in. So yeah, anyways, this is a good spot for us because it's close to our water and we're out here a lot. We like to sit out here. There's a pond here, so it's got a nice, beautiful sound to listen to when it's running. And uh, yeah, that's all. I hope this was helpful and I hope you like our guinea pig cage. And uh, once the winter comes, I'm going to use more straw in the bottom or hay probably because it's not really a huge price difference here um, between the two. And I'm going to add more clear plastic along the sides. I want it to have some airflow so it's not going to be completely covered. But I want it to be, I want one section where water can come through to kind of clear the land a little bit. Um, but I also want it to be there's to be some nice warm sunny spots for them to lay in. So I'll add some more plastic over the top. But of course there won't be as much greenery around because it won't be summer. So everything will die off and I'll be able to come around and fix it all up at that point. And I'll try to do another video in the winter to show you what it looks like. But this has been a really good location for them. I throw them weeds. They love, um, they seem to like the lamb squatters and I give them all the excess like, um, when I pick the tops off my basil, I give them the tops. They really like that. 
Um, there's certain things you don't want to give them that aren't safe. So I just kind of do a quick look whenever I am about to feed them something to make sure it's safe. Of course, I don't want them to get sick, but they're pretty smart too. I think they kind of know what not to eat, but I try to not take any chances. So anyways, let me move back again. And that is that. There we go. Hi, friends.